हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज सलाइवा एंड द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सलाइवा कंपोजिशन ऑफ द सलाइवा एंड द फंक्शंस ऑफ सलाइवा सो गाइस इफ यू नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड आल्सो प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो गाइस आई स्टार्ट आवर वीडियो सो फर्स्टली वी टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज सलाइवा एंड व्हाट डज इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ सो सलाइवा इज ए वॉटरी एंड यूजली protein substances produced in the mouth by the basic secretory unit of the salivary gland so the saliva is secreted by the salivary gland which are a cluster of the cells that called the acini so this is saliva and it consists of water as a major component so in this there is a water is 98% and electrolyte such as एन ए एंड के सोडियम एंड पोटेशियम एंड एंटी बैक्टीरियल कंपाउंड सच एज ए आई जी ए वेरियस इन जेम सच एज एमाइलेस म्यूकस मेनली कंसिस्ट ऑफ म्यूकोपोलिसक्राइड एंड ग्लाइको प्रोटीन सो दिस इज द कंपोजिशन कंसिस्टेंस ऑफ द सलाइवा एज यू कैन सी दिस इज अ सलाइवा सो इट इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ वॉटर एंड द सोलिड सब्सटेंस सो इन दिस देर इज अ वॉटर इज नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट so in this solid there is a organic substances in organic substances and the gases so in organic substances there are the two things enzyme and the other organic substances so in the enzyme there is a amylase maltase lingual lipase lysozyme phosphatase carbonic anhydrase and calicrine so these are the enzyme that is present in the saliva now the second is other organic substances so in this there is a protein that is mucin and alubin and the second is blood group antigen third one is free amino acid fourth one is non protein nitrogenous substances urea uric acid creatinine xanthin hypoxanthin so these are the other organic substances of solid now the second one is inorganic substances so the inorganic substances in this there is a sodium calcium potassium bicarbonate bromide chloride fluoride phosphate and in the gases there is a carbon dioxide oxygen and the nitrogen so the saliva that is made of the water and the solid and then the solid is further divided into the organic inorganic and the gases organic is further divided into the enzyme and the other organic substances normally glucose is absent in saliva but it is found in saliva during the diabetes mellitus so in the diabetes mellitus there is a saliva contain glucose so this is the composition of the saliva now we discuss the physical properties of the saliva so daily secretion of the saliva it is about 1.5 liters and 20 to 25 percent parotid gland and 60 to 65 percent by the submandibular gland and 7 to 8 percent sublingual gland so these are the salivary secretory gland and the ph of it 6.7 to 7.4 and the specific gravity of the saliva is 1.002 to 1.012 and the freezing point of it 0.07 to 0.34 degree celsius so these are the physical property of the saliva guys this is a very important topic that is generally asked in exams now we discuss functions of saliva so first function of it preparation of food for swallowing saliva contain the mucin that lubricate the bowels and facilitate the swallowing so the mucin or saliva that help in preparation of food for swallowing now the second one is appreciation of the taste taste is a chemical sensation saliva dissolve the solid food substances so that the dissolved substances can stimulate the taste buds the stimulated taste bud recognize the taste so the this taste bud recognize that taste now the third one is role in speech by moistening and lubricated soft part of the mouth and the lips saliva help in speech so this is the third function of the saliva now fourth one is excretory function many substances both organic and inorganic are excreted in saliva as we discuss in the composition of the saliva it excretes substances like mercury potassium iodide lead and thiocyanate 
Saliva also excretes some viruses such as those causing rabies and the mumps. In some special conditions, saliva excretes certain substances which are not found in saliva under normal conditions such as glucose and diabetes mellitus. So this is the excretory functions of the saliva that excrete organic and inorganic substances and the viruses that produce the rabies and the mumps and also secrete sugar in case of the person suffering from the diabetes mellitus. Now next function is cleansing and the protective functions. Due to the constant secretion of the saliva, the mouth and the teeth are rinsed and kept free of food debris, shed epithelial cell and the foreign particles. In this way, saliva prevents bacterial growth by removing material which may serve as a culture media for the bacterial growth. Because of secretion of the saliva, these are rinsed, mouth and the teeth. So these are removed the foreign particles and the food debris. So this is the cleansing and the protective function of the saliva. Now the next function is regulation of the water balance. When the body water content decreases, salivary secretion also decreases. This causes dryness of the mouth and induces the thirst. When the water is taken, it conceals the thirst and destroys the body water content. So when it means when the body water content is decreases, so the saliva secretion also decreases and it leads to the dryness of the mouth. Now the next function is function of saliva and digestion so first enzyme in there is a alpha amylase identical to pancreatic amylase cleaves a one for glycosidic bond of carbohydrate 75 percent of starch and ph of its seven functionally replaceable by the pancreatic enzyme because it is identical to the pancreatic enzyme so it is a functionally replaceable by it now the second one is lingual lipase so it is a triglyceride Lower acidic optimum remains active throughout the stomach and into the proximal duodenum. So it is acidic optimum. Now the third is it dissolves the dietary constitute and increase the sensitivity of the taste buds. So these enzymes help in to recognize the taste. So this is the function of the saliva. Now the next function is regulation of the water. D temperature in body and the cattle excessive dripping of the saliva during panting help in loss of heat and regulation of the body temperature so in case of the panting so there is a secretion of saliva increases in dog and the cattle however in human beings at gland play major role in temperature regulation and saliva does not play in role in the function so the role of the secretion of saliva in regulation of the body temperature is not not important but it is very important in the dog and the cattle so guys in this video we discuss what is saliva composition of the saliva properties of the saliva and the function of the saliva so guys this is a very important topic hope you like this video please like share subscribe my channel thank you